definitely the culture of kindness here is something that people just need to bring in other places and to in other countries. There is so much kindness here and people wanting to collective culture, which we don't always have in the United States. And it's just amazing to come to Ghana. I was telling to my cousin, I was like, can you imagine, like, everyone here is black. Like, there's rich black folks, there's crazy black folks, there's poor black folks, there's just black folks living their regular life. Like, everyone is black here. There's just various demographics of seeing blackness as not a monolith but Ghana is a place that they can come to and just kind of celebrate their blackness mm -hmm. so I think what I can say like medasi hey. so I can say thank you mm -hmm. I can't remember how else to say nothing but I know that the people I know what it means when the people be like fine gal hey. and I'd be like yeah that's me will you be shocked to uh, uh, be married to a Ghanaian <laughs> One thing about me, I love the phone massage. I recommend it. That's the best thing I ever did in my life. I saw a video of that. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I go by the name me, myself, and I. Epic Awards. Remember to like and share to this amazing video. Today I'm here with this amazing, beautiful lady. But before she introduces herself, I really want to say a very big thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing. Always. I really appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm here with. T. My name is T. Hey everybody. How y'all doing today? I'm from the U.S. How did you get to know about Ghana? Um, so my auntie, like my family lives here. Mm -hmm. So they're from the U.S. but they live here. Okay. And so once she moved here, it was like basically, all right, everybody in the family, now we got to go to Ghana. Mm -hmm. So I started being like, all right, I'll come meet you in Ghana, but I actually work here. So I have a client here that I do social media for a travel company. Okay. So as an international social media strategist, I helped them with their social media. So they brought me to Ghana wow. to cover content, come to Daddy December, come to all the events. And that's why I've been here for a month. Wow. Yeah. That is so amazing. So you've been here for a month. At least you should know how to speak some Ghanaian language, right? Oh, come on. I can <laughs> say like, Medasi. Hey. So I can say thank you. Mm -hmm. I can't remember how else to say nothing. But I know that the people, I know what it means when the people be like, fine gal. Hey. And I'd be like, yeah, that's me. So Damn. that's not sweet, but you know, that's me. That's I get it. You, you get it. <laughs> but you believe that you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. If 10 you don't, 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and really, I shaved off of you. Like, I'm really a 13 out of 10, but I was being humble, you know? Yeah. No, you should be 15. I, thank you. See, let's raise the bar. Keep raising it up. Raise it up. <laughs> what are some of the um, experiences that you would like to take back to the state? Um, definitely the culture of kindness here is something that people just need to bring in other places and to in other countries. There is so much kindness here and people wanting to help you, people taking their time to assist you and support you. Even today I had to like make a stop to get here and my Uber driver was like, it's okay, I can wait, it's no problem. I'm like, thank you so much. So that kind of thing is really important to me. I like that a lot here. You like it a lot. Yeah. Also the food. I would like to bring Fufu back with me. Hey. I would. I need to bring that back with me. So yeah, yes. I, I, so Fufu and what? Fufu. Okay. Well, with Fufu, I normally ate it. When I ate it, I ate it with everything. So it was like there was lamb in there or goat. There was goat in there. There was chicken. Okay. I had like salmon in there. Okay. I had everything. So it was good. Honestly, it's hard to transport. Fufu is tough to make it. I'd be like, that's kind of hard. People in the U.S. don't work that hard to make stuff. Okay. So no. <laughs> What places have you been so far in terms of, let me say, uh, visiting our tourist sites and all that? Okay, so that's the thing, because I came here for work, okay. I was living a regular Ghanaian life. I really haven't done that much touristy stuff, but I did go to Willy Waterfall. Okay. I went over to the Volta region. Um, what else have I done? Wait, I really might not have done anything. I was <laughs> living a regular life. Oh, so wow. I was just living my life, mm -hmm. eating regular food, hanging out with the people, going to... Um, a few places I've been here, we had a big event, so we did like Serenity House Ghana, which is really lovely. Wow. I did the Ma'a Tea Waterfall Spa, mm -hmm. Waterfall Massage. I recommend it. That's the best thing I ever did in my life. I saw a video of that. You saw that? Yeah. yeah. Hey, I was like, he was like, whoa. Yo. <laughs> yo, right. You guys are seeing the video on your screen right now. Yes. Tell me in the comment section, what do you think about this massage? Yeah. This massage? Hmm. I'm going to learn massage now. Exactly. You have to. Somebody messaged me. They said, tea. I want you to switch space. They said, if I could switch the places with anybody in the world right now, it would not be you. It's with the guy massaging you. I said, you're fresh. <laughs> I said, you are fresh. Oh, my God. My. But no, it's for real. Like, yeah, seriously, yeah, if you come yeah, here, yeah. get that That's massage. True. That's true. Come and get that massage, okay? Ladies, come, come, come. Ladies, come. 
because he won't learn how to massage now anyway, so yes. then you can have him. Yeah, yeah. You can do the massage. Yeah, I can. Yes, amazing. What do you think we can do to break the gap together? I don't, I mean, I feel like so much good stuff is already happening, yeah, okay. which is trying to connect the diaspora back to West Africa and Ghana. I mean, with the Beyond the Return and Year of the Return and all that kind of stuff. Like, people know that Ghana is a place that they can come to and just kind of celebrate their blackness. Mm -hmm. So I think whatever's happening right now, this really good PR that Ghana is experiencing, it's enough. Like, more and more people, people are texting me being like, what your, like who did your chores who did your trip like I want to go next year so I think I think it's looking good for Ghana I think things are looking good for us I see for us I say us yeah 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 I say yeah, us yeah, like yeah, I'm from yeah, here I'm like yeah, yeah. yeah I'm relocating Whoa. I'm that, relocating you are yeah I'm gonna yeah for sure I'm gonna okay so I already live in Thailand so it's easy for me to move to Ghana oh, wow. they're like similar weather easy I don't mind living abroad so it's cool will you be shocked to uh, be married to a Ghanaian <laughs> One thing about me, I love an international love, so no, I would so not no. be surprised if I end up married to a Ghanaian. Oh, okay. That sounds like something I should do, like just like just try it out. Yeah. Perfect, you, uh, right? So why are you waiting? Who are you waiting for? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I'm just waiting for the perfect man to come along. So if you are there, say it out loud. See, y'all fresh. <laughs> y'all are fresh. See, this how you end up being. This how you end up being married to a Ghanaian without yeah. even knowing you're married to a Ghanaian. See, because they're fresh like this. They eat, they slick. Ghanaians, y'all slick like that. Oh. You're like, so who is your perfect man? Uh -huh. Who would that be? I can't. Y'all mess. <laughs> if you have one question that you wish I could have asked you, what would be that question? Any questions that you could have asked me? Yeah, that I did not ask you. I have so many, but I want you to give me a question that you wish maybe, I could have asked you. Maybe you could ask, like, thinking about how many people from the black diaspora want to suddenly move to Ghana like why do people want to move to Ghana mm -hmm. so maybe you could have asked me like why do you do you like Ghana enough to live in Ghana okay so yeah you could ask that the answer mm -hmm. <laughs> is yes <laughs> okay. I like Ghana so much I think like I said I think the mindset people are kind people are understanding a real level of um, collective culture which we don't always have in the United States and it's just amazing to come to Ghana I was telling to my cousin I was like can you imagine like everyone here is black like there's rich black folks there's crazy black folks there's poor black folks there's just black folks living their regular life like everyone is black here there's just various demographics of seeing blackness as not a monolith but very much as a wide range of type of people that we get to be which is amazing. I, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for joining Epic It Was. It was so nice to have you on Epic It Was to be honest with you. I really appreciate your time. But we are going to still do a sit down talk with her. She's going to be on this channel again. But this is just, just a brief for you to know that she's going to be here again. Yeah. Because she's going to be here again. Sorry. I beg my pardon. All right. So Hello. where where would they find you? On my social media? Yeah, social media. Oh, I was like, I don't know. Maybe you'd find me on an airplane most of the time. You can find me on Instagram at traveling.tee. Because I'm traveling T. I'm always in these skies. I'll be in these streets, but really in these skies. So, yeah, you can find me at traveling.tee on TikTok and on Instagram. All right. So, do me a favor and go show some love. Yes, yeah, big hug. Uh... I'm so glad you reached out. Bye. Peace out.